four really creative lip looks. We're going to start with a nude 90s look. The first product we're going to take is the 24-7 lip liner from the new Urban Decay Vice collection. Let's slightly overline the lips to give the appearance of fuller looking lips. Now we're going to fill it in with the shade Stark Naked from the Urban Decay Vice collection. Once the lips are filled, then I'm going to take a lip brush and blend the liner downwards into the lipstick. As a final step, to give some light in the centre of the lips, I'm going to take some of the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. This will almost be like a trick of the light and make the lips appear much fuller. There we have it, 90s supermodel lips. So the next look that we're going to create is a classic red lip and we want something that's super long lasting. We're going to take the Ultimate Ozone Primer by Urban Decay and prime the lips first. The next product we're going to take is the Vice Lip Liner in 714. This is a classic red shade. The next product we're going to take is the Vice Lipstick from Urban Decay. This is a mega matte finish, so we'll get that really classic matte red lip. Just finally, with my lip brush, I'm going to perfect those lips. And there we have it, the classic red lip. The next look that we're going to create is a lilac ombre. So the first product that I'm going to take is the Vice Lip Liner in the shade Pandemonium. And this is a darker lilac, so we're just going to outline the lip with this first. Now we're going to take the Vice Lip shade in Twitch. This is a lighter lilac and this will create the ombre. Now to give it a real iridescent feel, I'm going to apply some tonic eyeshadow by Urban Decay on top. I'm just going to take my ring finger and press it on. This has created the Lilac Ombre. The next look that we're going to do is a dark mermaid lip. The first product I'm going to take is the 24-7 liner in the colour Sabbath by Urban Decay. Now that the lips are lined, I'm going to take the Vice lipstick in the shade Heroin. give it an iridescent feel, I'm going to apply the shadow in the colour Dye Bar on top. To make it super edgy, I'm going to apply the Heavy Metal Glitter in the shade Distortion. And there we have it, mermaid lips. Hi guys, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorials. Now I'm joined by Marianne Cross and today we're gonna to play a game of Guess That Lip. Now you better not be peeking at what I'm putting on, Marianne. I can't see. Oh, I'm gonna guess Barfly. Oh, give me a clue. Um, 
I'm a magical creature. Mermaid? Unicorn. Yeah, it's unicorn. Oh god, I don't know, yours is a hard one. It's definitely a sheer finish. Okay, give me a clue. So, when you called me the other night, you had to... Wrong number. Oh, I know that one. Um, checkmate? Yeah, how did you guess that straight away? It's my favourite one. You're going to need to give me a clue. Um, you don't want to get hit by this on your way out. Oh, back door? Yes, back door. Ooh. Ooh. I genuinely have no idea no. what that is. Is oh. yours Love Light? No, really similar. Um, is your shame? No, but that's really similar as well. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't we leave it up to these guys to decide what the colours are? Yeah, I think you should take a guess. 